Hey guys, uh, here is my second video regarding to data validation in the Excel. So, uh, first of all, we have to understand why we need data validation in the Excel. So, a uh, very basic reason is that sometimes we need to restrict the end user to uh, avoid invalid or incorrect data into a particular cell or in a record. So that's why we have to apply data validation. So uh, let's start. Uh, we can find the data validation option under the data menu. Uh, here is the option. Uh, we have to just click on the drop down and select data validation. Uh, here you can say that by default uh, any value is selected that's why the reason user can enter any type of value whether it is a string integer numerical date decimal values etc he would be able to enter so making the user restrict or uh, to avoid incorrect input by the end user we have to select uh, we have to imp implement data validation so uh, we can see if I open this drop down I can see uh, a list of uh, validation checkpoints like whole number decimal list date time text and custom etc so uh, let's start with the whole number so a uh, whole if I select a whole number I can choose that a particular cell will be left blank by the user or not and uh, I can also select the range between uh, and the list provided here in the data drop down so uh, let's suppose we have select between and I select that user can enter in a particular cell uh, a number between 10 and 20 so I had set the uh, minimum and maximum range to 10 and 20 click on ok and now I try to uh, type any number which is less than 1 and press enter you can see that we got the error message again I type to an invalid number again it will again give a uh, error message that a user has restricted values that can be entered into the cell let's hit uh, now try to integer 10 in the cell and you can see that user is able to enter the same so 10 to 20 you can enter any number let's try one more you can see 20 we can enter now try 21 it's so now uh, let's have another look of another option so the the most commonly option is the list So guys, uh, before going to list, we'll uh, talk about the custom option. So select an area. Suppose a condition where you have already a column where you have already few data entered, like 10, 20, 500. Now you have to make your user and user to enter the number which is less than the these values so uh, like uh, the user can enter only the value below 10 or uh, less than equal to 10 uh, in this cell uh, 20 and less, less, less than equal to 20 here less than equal to 5 and here less than equal to 100 so just uh, we have to select the entire range click on the data validation select custom formula custom here we can say that we can enter any formula so the simple formula we can took that value is this less than equal to this option now press ok now try to enter the 11 we can get error now try to enter below or less than equal to 10 suppose I enter 5 
it will take in the next i will try to enter the number and uh, let's uh, suppose we have to enter number 21 it will give error if i put the number 2 it will allow the same way if i put the number 6 it will give error if i take 1 it will allow okay so sometimes we need to use some custom formulas so that's why I had shown in this my tutorial the next and basic and most used uh, data validation is list uh, uh, the list will provide a drop down just like we can here and we can select any uh, one uh, value from this drop down user is not supposed to uh, enter uh, uh, its own data into a particular cell so in that case we have to use list drop down in the source field we have to just fill the list of options with the common separation uh, suppose uh, here I can use file home insert page data and now I have to click one you can see that the uh, there is a, a small drop down present beside the cell and all the options which we have entered in the list source uh, field are appearing here so user can select any data from this list if it try to uh, uh, enter any user defined data or its own data it will give you error so hope this video helps you to understand the data validation and uh, use of the data validation in the excel thank you guys have a nice day